All right, hi, I'm Ian Culling. Uh, we talked about running a deficit, technical, and functional debt. So uh, in an iterative process, we think that you know, as you get more and more focused on delivery, um, there's a chance that you either inherited a bunch of legacy code with debt, uh, but there's a pretty good chance you might be incurring debt as you go. Um, so when, what we did was we first defined it. So there's code debt, and then an interesting one for me was process or infrastructure debt. So old technology, old tools, tools that are holding you back where new tools may actually help you go faster. Some symptoms of technical debt, uh, obviously um, uh, code coverage or, or untested, a lack of test automation um, will lead to, or um, maybe it's a symptom of debt, uh, high coupling and other uh, unintended side effects in the code base, touch it here, poke it here, things break over here, um, a lot of dependencies in the code. This, was a, this, this is related to the infrastructure one, um, not invented here syndrome, so a lot of homegrown frameworks, um, I think, uh, increase your debt load. Um, pretty interesting. Uh, detection, quality issues, clearly if you have a defect backlog of any size, that's an indicator. Uh, increased complexity, both functional and technical. Um, and, and, lower, like, and, and slowly degrading productivity is an indicator that you're not dealing with, you don't have the practices in place to, to stop incurring technical debt. Um, so some of the things, code cleanliness, discoverability and learnability of your code base. So um, existing team members, take a long time to start getting productive on a task. New team members take a long time to get productive in the code base. That's a pretty key indicator. Um, uh, code coverage, code metrics. Uh, we talked about Crap4j and a suckometer being just a, a qualitative a team assessment of how the code base is, something that teams have trended over time. Um, there was some discussion about uh, sub too many subject matter experts or, or specialization, um, loosely related. Um, I threw up uh, Dave's chart that he got from ThoughtWorks where uh, we talk about a regression deficit being the distance between the points you're delivering and the numbers of tests that you have and if that, if that, uh, if that uh, gap is growing that you're, you're growing a regression deficit which is a pretty clear indicator of debt. Uh, another one is decreased morale. Right? The team will start as things get harder to do um, they're going to be less happy. Right. So, uh, How to avoid um, avoid or eliminate debt. Um, clearly have good technical practices, a lot of automation. Um, do some measurement, um, um, selective measurement. Uh, invest in your infrastructure. Uh, either either sacrifice a percentage of the team if you have debt um, at any given time. What we've found is successful is take a percentage of the team continually working on, a con on an improvement stream while the rest of the team is working on a delivery stream. Uh, good engineering practices. The dev team should have a seat at the release planning table. We think that, that every release should have at least one major item that the dev team wants. It could be um, a platform upgrade, it could be moving to a new tool, it could be um, just something that will help move the product along from a technical, an architecture, maybe help the team be more productive. Uh, make sure that done includes things that matter with respect to quality of code, right? So if, if you're really trying to emphasize things, maybe there's a code quality checklist that you walk through as, as part of your doneness criteria. Uh, there's obviously tension, like trying to get commitment to, to eliminate that in terms of a capacity or, or, or there's tension between the product owner and the dev team in terms of like features versus debt payback. There's that tension. Um, uh, try to come up with an economic case for the product owner or executive team or whomever to invest in solving this problem, right? Um, provide measures that, you, that you, you plan to trend to show that you're making progress. I think that's, that's kind of fun. And we talked about a few test tools, so that's basically it. Thanks.